we did both setup and solution from the same tab and we go to the final bar which is results and this is what we call the post processing model of ANSYS Fluent the pre-processing model is the geometry the solver is the setup and the post processing is what you see after your simulation is complete so we are um, having the same geometry again we have our inlet brilliant outlet brilliant symmetry brilliant and we have the circle which we selected it as a wall front wall and back wall and now let's see our results so let's start with something that is basic um, let's start with viewing a contour so if you go to insert insert bar is where you can see your results so if um, you can see results of vectors contours streamlines etc particles but let's start with a very common result which is contour so if I go to contour contour one excellent it asks me which part of my model do I want to see my contour so if I select my inlet or if I select my circle which is the region that I want um, let me go to circle and if I want to see a contour of pressure here you can see contours of different variables right from density to temperature pressure temperature again speed and XYZ direction heat flux adjacent temperature shear stress lots of different functions but let's start with a very common one which is pressure range tells you what range you want to specify global is in the global context local is localized to your geometry let's go with local and let's select the number of contours now this tells you how many levels of contours you need by default it is 11 so let's see what 11 gives us if I click apply it would show me a pressure on my um, circle which is sorry this was this one circle wall region apply and now it gives me some pressure so as we can see high pressure on one side and low pressure on the other side good now let's see something that's more visible um, something that we can relate to more speed and this gives me the speed high speed on the upwind low speed on the leeward uh, but I want to see it in a more um, dynamic format so the way to do that would be through creating a plane so if I create an intersecting plane between um, the, cir um, the circular disk and the enclosure I would be able to see the whole trend of the pressure and speed so what I would do is I would untick the contour so it takes that away from me and I will go to insert location and I will go to plane if I go to plane plane one you can give it a unique name if you would if you have multiple planes you would like to give it a unique name that's easy for you to remember later click OK and now I want to create a plane that's in the X and Z direction so I go to X and Z and I click apply and now it has created a plane in the center you can move the plane up and down by selecting a different range so if I select a range and move the plane up if I want to select a lower range and move the plane down and if I select absolutely zero it gives me the plane bang on zero so that's what I want bang on zero so I can see it intersecting through it so I click plane click a plan and now as we can see here there is a plane uncheck plane and let's go back to our contour check con contour double click and now our plane will appear in our location initially it did not appear because uh, we had not created it but now since we have created it we can um, see the plane click on plane speed and then click apply and now we can see a proper trend so now we can sp see that how the speed is so if I view it on a 2D plane which is in the Y direction and remember that's my inlet from the top so that's my inlet it hits the circular disk the speed accelerates on both sides 
and decelerates in the middle so I can see a whole trend of how my speed is with the maximum speed being 4.8 and minimum speed being 0 0.3 so I can see a whole different range of speed if I want my plane if I want the contour levels to be more finer I can click this 100 and now it will give me a much more smoother contour if I go back to the default 11 it gives me um, a less smoother contour you can do many things with the contours you can um, um, there are lots of options where you can apply labels to your contours so it can show you numbers what contour refers to what number um, you can render it you can show contour lines constant coloring it can create a line around your contour allows you to visualize it in a much more better um, um, version um, um, of your work so you can do a lot of things with it if you now go back to geometry here and if you want to see the contour of temperature so you c I can change from speed now to temperature you can click apply now it shows me temperature remember our temperature was 30 de degrees on the wall 50 degrees on the, um, the disk and that's what it shows here 50 on the disk 30 on the wall if I click on pressure I can see the pressure trend high pressure because that's where the wind comes from top of the screen so maximum pressure on the front of the disk minimum pressure at the back of the disk and our pressure contours um, can also be seen if you want to see vectors that is also possible so you uncheck contour we go back to insert and this time rather than inserting contour we insert a vector insert vector select location which will again be the plane vertex leave the rest as default and you click apply and you can see the vectors which is a similar trend to the co um, contours obviously the only difference it does is it shows us the arrow which is the airflow direction you you can change the symbols you can change the symbol size if your arrow size is less you can make it bigger clicking 10 and now your arrows are much bigger so we can actually see some backflow over here if you notice the arrow sign it is going against the flow the flow is from the top of the screen so we can see where the vortices are happening and that's usually a good um, sign normalize symbols and then it just normalizes everything but if you don't normalize it gives you smaller symbols uncheck vector you can also see streamlines so if I go to streamline click OK 3d streamline again start from the plane and um, similar defaults and you click apply and tell you streamlines um, again streamlines if you think are too less number of points tw 25 can be changed to 250 and now it shows you more streamlines it's replicating the contour but it is showing you a different version um, um, of your work which is streamlines if you want to get a more accurate number so what we are seeing here are just qualitative results if you're looking for something more quantified ANSYS allows you to create um, charts um, if you you can create a chart and it will allow you to see graphs um, on the other side you can also see some results based on um, exp um, calculators so if you click on calculator here and you click on function calculator and if you say I want to see the average of my plane which is this plane which is plane 1 and I want to see the average of my pressure and if I click calculate it tells me that the average pressure on this plane is about 2.9 Pascal and if I want to see the speed average speed around this plane is about 2.8 so if you remember our inlet speed was about 4 meter per second but our speed drops and increases on the side so the average speed across this plane is about 2.8 uh, meters if you want to do something even more accurate then rather than creating a plane you can create a line um, um, to your um, cross section so I will just quickly show you how to create a line as well this we can go back to outline stop the streamlines go back to our default view go to insert location so rather than a plane you can create a line you can create a line that goes through the center um, so we would want uh, so that's the XYZ point one XYZ point two we want our line to be going through the Z direction so that's the Z 
you take it all the way to the back and you take it all the way to the front and that creates your line which is here so now we've cr created a line through the cross section samples are the number of points you want your line to be so if I so at the moment the line is broken into 10 samples you can change this make it 100 line is broken into 100 samples but the line remains the same and now if you want to see a chart on the line and then we click on insert chart chart 1 and we want an XY um, line where we can select our line 1 so from data series select line number 1 um, X axis we want the chart count chart count technically just means points on the line so your chart count will show you 0 to 100 on the Y axis then you can see any variable so if you want to see pressure you click apply and it shows you how the pressure is through the line notice there is nothing here and that is because this is the time where the line is intersecting your circular disk and therefore that is why there is no pressure because this pressure is air pressure and while it's interacting your circular disk you don't see um, anything here the same trend can be seen with the velocity so that's how your speed is um, um, through the line it starts with a speed of 4 goes down hits the circular disk and then averages out to a speed of 1 if you want to see the temperature you can click on temperature and as we suggested 30 degrees of air goes to 50 degrees of the disk and then drops back to 30 degrees so the the quantitative side of the results which is to see the averages and lines and graphs are all if you want to quantify something for research but what CFD does very much brilliantly is the qualitative side of things where you can see animations